friends, I'm Jess and welcome to Yoga 101, a series dedicated to help you ease into yoga. I'll be guiding you through a variety of poses and flows and try different variations to see which ones work best for you. So this week we're doing forward folds. There are tons of options and variations out there, but I wanted to get you started on the easiest and most relaxing ones that you can jump onto right away. We'll be doing five different ones, cross-legged forward fold, head to knee forward fold, wide-legged forward fold, seated forward fold, and finally child pose. Let's get started. First one, cross-legged forward fold, just like I'm sitting, but I'll make sure I'm slightly slanted so you can see me properly. So start in a comfy seated position, maybe a gentle sway side to side to get extra comfy. And when you're ready, big and inhale, float your hands and arms above you. And as you exhale, fold forward. So a couple of variations here. You can rest on your palms. Let your head and neck relax here. Another option is coming all the way down to your forearms. That feels good. Or crawl all the way forward and come down on your forehead on the mat. See how that feels. So any option you choose here, I'm gonna stay on my forearms. Make sure that you're super comfortable. A nice gentle sway side to side if that feels good. Relaxing your head and neck. We are not using that right now. And let your inhales and exhales flow for you. Doesn't feel like you're doing much, but your breathing is doing all the hard work here. Each inhale, gently lifting you up. And exhale, relaxing into this pose. Just a couple more. You can stay here for as many breaths as you want. Start with five breaths, 10 breaths, 30. Go for a minute. And with a forward fold, there's a lot of flexibility and variations that you can try out. You can also crawl on from one side to another. This is still a forward fold. See how that feels. Use your breath as a spotlight to see if there's any area that needs some extra TLC in. You know, if it feels nice, maybe linger here for a couple more breaths. Let your inhales and exhales carry you through. And when you're ready, slowly roll all the way out. So there's another option here, which is coming on your, bringing your ankle on the opposite knee. It's a really nice stretch for, you know, the outside, your thighs, your hips, but make sure there's no pain in if there is, just ease out of it, try another option. But if this feels good, you now I'll start with a big inhale to lengthen. Pull your arms and exhale, fold forward. Same thing here. Forearms, palms. And if you can bring your head to the mat, but I can't reach, so I will skip that one out. I'll just chill here on my palms, relaxing my head and neck here. I'm going to stay here for a couple of breaths as long as I want. Maybe a gentle sway side to side. See how this feels. Another neat trick, if that's what you call it, is give yourself a nice massage coming from on your elbows and leaning on your calves, maybe on your inner thighs. Don't forget to breathe. See how you feel. See if there's some pressure points that feels nice for you. Make sure you're not pushing, you're just simply leaning forward. Give myself a nice massage here. This is one of my favorite poses. Bring your elbows to your foot if that feels good. I have like a tender spot there in my arch. Arch, arch. <laughs> And just stay here for a couple of breaths. When you're ready, same on the other side. So switching, bringing your 
ankle and your opposite knee, same thing here. And this will probably feel different in the other side. That's okay, our bodies are not completely symmetrical sometimes, and one side might be tighter than the other one. But as you inhale and fold forward, notice how it feels in the depth. Maybe one side you felt super nice on your forearms, maybe one side is better to be on your palms. Always adapt and notice what your body wants. Take it easy, one step at a time. Let your inhales and exhales carry you through, relaxing your head and neck. If you want, give yourself a nice massage with your elbows. You know, I can honestly stay here for a couple of minutes. You can do this right when you wake up, before you go to bed, or even when you're, you know, watching a show, chilling here, give yourself a nice massage and stretch. It doesn't take a lot. Just let your body relax and your inhales and exhales carry you through. And slowly come all the way up. We have enough of this. Again, stay as long as you want. Our next option for full number two, which is head to knee, forward bend, with one knee bent, another one's um, leg straight, one knee bent, and your leg straight. Does that make sense? <laughs> Bring your head close to your knee. Big inhale to lift, bring your head close to your knee. Gently folding forward. If you can touch your forehead to your knee, and you cut that out, that's okay, that's okay. You can also hang in here for a couple of breaths. Gentle bend on the knees if that's easier. Nice and easy stretch. Grab a hold of your foot if that feels good too. Any variation here again. Find a way to just adapt and make this pose work for you. Can you open up your chest a little bit. That feels good. And exhale, slowly coming all the way up. Same thing here on the other side. Stay here for as many breaths as you want. Gentle bend on the knees and the side might feel different. It might be easier, it might be harder. Notice how your body feels. Bring your torso close to your thigh. And your knee. And relaxing here for as many breaths as you want. Any variation, both hands grabbing your toe, your foot. Or just relaxing your forearms, exhale it. And when you're ready, make it all your way up. Our third option is wide legged forward bend. So make sure you're comfortable here. Gentle bend on the knees if you can't completely straighten it. That's also nice. Here you big and have lengthen. You bring your arms up high. That feels good. And exhale slowly, fold forward. So same thing here. You can be on your palms. Maybe crawl side to side if that feels good. If you want to come to your forearm and it feels nice, go ahead. If you want to rest on your forehead, you can also try that out. Again, find an option that feels the best for you and let your breathing do all the work. This is a nice stretch with your inner thighs, your hips. In this pose, you don't have to stay static. You don't have to just be in the middle unless it feels really good. You can crawl around, see if, you know, there is something that feels nice where you can stretch a little bit more. You have enough on one side, maybe crawl to the other side. <sighs> Taking it easy. And when you're ready, coming all the way up. That was why I like a forward fold. Our fourth one is seated forward fold. Bring your feet, your ankles close to each other. Gentle bend on the knees. Big and hum, float your arms above. And exhale, gently bend forward. Bring your torso close to your thigh, your head on your knee. And 
just relaxing your neck here. You're not really using it. And let your inhale and exhales follow you up. And exhale, relaxing into this pose. Grab the hold of your feet if that feels good, or hold of your calves and ankles if that feels better. If you're comfortable here, you can also try and lengthen in your legs, see how that feels. And again, relaxing your head and neck, bringing your forehead close to your knee, head to touch. Stay here for as many breaths as you want. Another variation here is gentle bend on knees if you want and grabbing the hold of your feet. Bring your torso close to your knee and looking straight. You can kind of bring your shoulder blades together. That's a nice uh, stretch for your spine, your lower back, your shoulders. See how that feels. This one is different than the previous one when you're rounding your back and you're bringing your torso close to your thigh, relaxing your head and neck. It's a different kind of stretch. This one is a bit, this one is a nice opening as well. So any option you choose, bring your back around, relaxing your head and neck, or bringing your chest close to your knee and bringing your shoulder blades together. Stay here for five, ten, three breaths. And slowly coming out of it. Now last but not least, option number five is child pose. So start with your hands and knees. This is one of my favorite poses. And when you're ready, shift your hips to the back of the mat. So you can sit on your heels if that feels good. If you can't reach and this is the furthest you can go, that's okay too. Make sure there's no pain and just relax your head and neck. You bring your forehead close to the mat if you can touch. Make sure there's no pain. If you can sink your hips a little bit further, try that out, see how it feels. Let your inhale and exhales do all the work. If this is too much for your knees, ease out of it. You can try to widen your stance a little bit. Maybe bring your toes close to each other, bring your knees further apart, and then sink your hips to the back. See how that feels. This is also a really good stretch for your hips, your inner thighs as well. You can come down to your forearms. Bring your head down to the mat if that feels good. Sometimes I like being on my chin. So now you stretch from my neck to you. See how that feels and stay here for as many breaths as you want. Any variation. And when you're ready to get out of this one, slowly ease on your way up, taking your time. So that's it. Simple seated forward folds. I hope you've enjoyed them. We've covered cross-legged forward fold, head to knee forward fold, one-legged seated forward fold, and finally child pose. Did you have a favorite? Which one was more challenging? And let me know if there's any other poses you would like me to explore. Thank you for watching and see you next time.